Hey, you peeps, it's Donna here, also known as Schwig. Thought I would push out two videos today. Um, I have a couple of more questions from my giveaway to answer. And again, I'm here in my bedroom because it is freezing ass cold out in the rest of my house. It is, as a matter of fact, it is like 13 degrees in my living room right now. <laughs> That is too cold for me. It's minus seven outside right now. So <clears throat> I'm sitting in my bedroom where I have a nice electric heat um, happening. So I have two questions and I'm going to, they, they're both like, I, I'm going to answer them at the same time. So I'm just going to read you uh, what they are and then I'll answer them. So the first question is from Two Puffy Duffy VSG. And uh, she was the winner of my giveaway, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, and again, as always, the information of the people that uh, have submitted the questions is going to be down below. So um, check them out. So Too, Buff Too Puffy Duffy VSG asks, How much did your surgery cost in Vegas? Was it along the same lines as the cost to go to Mexico? And uh, VSG Brit Brat she asks, my question would be, any challenges you faced in Canada while you were looking into surgery and would um, or would have faced in Canada if you had had surgery there? She said, you can talk about Canada as much as you like. She's interested. <laughs> All right. So, um, so I looked into Mexico a lot. Oh, check out this guy. He's spying on us. <laughs> um, I checked into Mexico a lot, uh, and I had um, I figured that that's where I was gonna go. Uh, I'm not knocking Mexico by any stretch of the imagination. Lots of people go there. Lots of people have very good experiences. Um, I couldn't get over my anxiety about going there. It just it just I couldn't I couldn't get over it. Uh, it was going to be cheaper. It was going to cost um, about $10,000 Canadian. I believe it was $7,000 uh, US to uh, go to Mexico. Uh, once I found Vegas and my anxiety level uh, was reduced, um, it was more expensive. It was twice the cost. So my surgery for r and Y, I'm sorry, this is going to be really shaky. My surgery for for RNY was um, 15,500 US or 20,100 Canadian um, at the time at the, at, ex at the exchange rate at the time. <clears throat> um, and uh, I have absolutely no regrets uh, on spending the extra money. I, like I said, my anxiety level was so high. I just I felt like I was going to stroke out at any minute because I, I was, I was so nervous and so paranoid about going to Mexico. So that is why I, um, switched from my, my goal was switched from Mexico to, um, Las Vegas. Why I chose out of the country to begin with, my kidney specialist recommended this surgery for me. She put my name in at the um, bariatric clinic in Victoria, British Columbia, which is um, just only a few hours from my home uh, and is one of two bariatric clinics in British Columbia. The other one is on the mainland. If any of you don't know, I live on Vancouver Island. <clears throat> so the... She told me when she when we were talking about it that I was going to be at least a year and a half wait. I was totally, totally willing to wait that year and a half. Uh, and But she did tell me, give them a phone call. They're very receptive to phone calls and stuff. Just give them a phone call, ask them whatever questions you have, and uh, go from there. But in the meantime, she was going to put my name in to that clinic. So I, I get home, I start doing my research on the different surgeries and stuff so then I give uh, the bariatric clinic in Victoria a phone call and the lady on the phone tells me there's at least a two-year wait probably more like two and a half year wait that my comorbidities are not bad enough to move me up uh, in the line and that there are over a thousand people ahead of me so I knew that they only did 86 surgeries um, 
the year before. I may be getting that wrong. Maybe it was 186 surgeries. Anyways, I figured it out and it was going to be a five year wait. So it was going to be two and a half years, two to two and a half years before I had my first appointment. Like I said, I was willing to wait that, but then it was going to be another two to two and a half years before the surgery. And I, I, I just, I thought about that and I thought, you know, I'm going to be 50 years old before I have the surgery. And had I been younger, I probably would have waited that time. But, you know, it just, time seems to go so much faster as you get older. And I didn't want to miss out on these next five years. So I have no regrets about going out of the country. I did have one of my doctors say, oh, put into the MSP, which is our medical services plan. Um, and see if you can get any money back. Uh, so I did, and they refused me. That was completely all right, because I did not expect to get money back anyway. So like, I didn't, I didn't go to Las Vegas thinking, oh, well, I'm going to get money back, and you know, MSP is going to pay for it. Um, I, I was told, too, though, that I should be able to claim some of the expenses on my income tax. So I'm going to try that when it comes time, you know, in the, in the new year when I do my income taxes. Um, but, yeah, that five-year wait, that was just too much. Now, I, you know, it's not like we're rich people. We, we, we're not. Uh, my husband has been saving for years for an old pickup that he wants something that's already redone and uh like a 1920s ford pickup is is like his dream he had twenty thousand ninety dollars saved <laughs> and when i told him that you know i found the place in las vegas it was one of the cheaper places to go in the united states it was a fantastic clinic. The doctor had a really great reputation. Um, but, and, and then I started crying and told him, you know, like, but we can't afford it. We just can't afford it. I didn't know he had this money set aside. I, I knew he was saving, but I didn't know how much he had. And uh, he went to where he had his money stashed and um, he just, he gave it all to me. Needless to say, he's not getting his truck, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Just moves me. Just, it just moves me how much I know he loves me. And, uh, and he told me that he said that, um, my health was more important. He wanted me to, he wants me to be around for a very long time, you know, grow old together and, and, uh, it's important. So he gave me all of his money. Anyways, oh my God. Here I go again. Another video where Donna's crying. Um, anyways, thank you very much, uh, VSG Brit Brat and to Puffy Duffy for your questions. Congratulations to Puffy Duffy on winning the giveaway. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing and hearing from you guys in the future. I... Uh, you know, as as I'm sure you guys all know, I absolutely love all my subscribers. I can't believe the the outpouring of warmth that I have felt from you guys in the last few days when I was, you know, in my big funk and um, that I just couldn't seem to get out of. And uh, you, you, you guys have no idea how much you mean to me. I love each and every one of you. That being said, I'm going to go now and um, I'm going to say... Peace out, peeps.